What are the best Josh Allen cards to invest in? If you believe in the young Bills quarterback, you're probably buying his rookie cards, knowing that you can turn them for more money in the future, but which one should you buy? In this video, we're going to count down his top 10 rookie cards to buy so you're prepared for Josh Allen's future. So I really love doing these rookie card guides and every one of them I preface with a statement like this. These are common cards. Obviously his best card is probably like a one of one National Treasures Logoman, but it makes no sense for me to put it on a list like this. So every card on this list is a card that there's enough of that it's at least obtainable. Some of the really, really nice high end cards I left off this list because they cost five figures or they're numbered to so low that they're like seen as Sasquatch when they pop up on eBay. So bearing that in mind, let's look at my list of the top 10 Josh Allen cards to consider investing in. All right, here it is. Top 10 Josh Allen cards. I lied, actually threw in a bonus. There's a bonus, it's the score rookie. He's in his Wyoming jersey. It's not a super attractive card and it's probably the lowest end of low end cards, but I added this just in case you were really looking for something very, very, very affordable. These cards also have a pretty wide gap when they're graded. You can buy them for about $6 raw, or you can get a PSA 10 for over 40. So if you bought five or six and sent them in, you could make some money there. Next up is the Prism Rookie Introductions. This is just a subset of Prism, but it was a nice rookie feature. And this was simpler times. This is 2018 when all the rookies signed for all the products and there just weren't a bazillion products out there like there are in 2022, 2023, any of the modern sets. So while this is an insert, it's a very cool insert from a very cool set. That's why I put it at the very bottom spot on my top 10 list. Number nine is the Donruss Rated Rookie Autograph. It's one of the most affordable low-end cards and it's a, just a paper card. It's not super expensive. It doesn't feel particularly nice, but it is a great card. And look at that picture. It just looks iconic and it looks like a card that's going to age really well. I always rate Donruss as one of the best sets to potentially buy and invest in. And then the big brother Donruss Optic is going to land at number eight on my list. This is the Donruss Optic Base card. These are another card that I'd recommend buying raw after you ask the seller questions about the condition and then just grading yourself because you're going to pay such a premium to get a PSA 10 that this is one that's affordable enough. Just buy raw and grade yourself. Next up is the Select Premier Level Rookie card. In 2018, there are three different sets on Select. There's the Concourse, the Premier, and the Field Level, and I listed them in terms of increasing scarcity. For example, there were 12,000 PSA 10s at the Concourse Level while the premier level only had about 530. Having half the graded population just means there's a limited supply and there's going to be greater demand. And this is just a really good attractive card from a very popular brand. Speaking of attractive brands and good cards, let's keep it going with the filled level variation. Again, this is the most rare card that you can pull out of select, at least in the base scarcity tiers. And while I said there's 530 at the premier level as a PSA 10, this one has less than 100. If you really wanted to go all out, you can buy a colored parallel or some kind of refractor to make it even more rare and valuable. Number five is the rookie autograph. And this is the one where I'm probably cheating, but I mean basically any Josh Allen rookie autograph. There are a few others that I don't count in this generic catch-all, but we're going to look at them later on the list. For these, I'm talking about autographs from the mid-tier brands. Impeccable, Absolute, Illusions, Limited, Encase, Certified, those sort of brands, picking up a Josh Allen autograph for those is never going to be a bad investment, even if there are other more popular sets or more popular autographs you could potentially chase. Number four is the Optic Hollow and Parallels. While I have the Optic Base Rookies number eight on the list, the Parallels and the Hollows are so much more desirable, mainly just because the population. There are 2,000 base PSA 10s in the optic, but when you look at the hollow, which is basically the equivalent of the silver prism, there are less than 250. That huge gap in population makes me think these cards are going to age particularly well and really hold their value. Number three is the Contenders Rookie Autograph. I think this is probably the best Josh Allen rookie autograph, and Contenders is a brand that I always rank very high on the autograph set list. Contenders has been around for a long time, long enough that Tom Brady has a rookie Contenders autograph, and the same logic that made that card attractive makes this one attractive. It's a very long-running set. These are on-card autographs, and it's just one of the most chased rookie autographs every single year. If you want just one Josh Allen rookie autograph, this is probably the one to buy. And then, 
Now we're at the top two. Number two is the Prism rookie card. Prism obviously is the biggest set every year, at least in this like mid-tier level card. And in 2018, it didn't have the insane print run that it does now. This is another set that I would probably recommend buying raw and getting graded, except there's a catch. The cards that are worth grading for this set are probably already graded. Odds are you're not gonna find a raw Josh Allen Prism rookie that's going to grade a PSA 10. And finally, number one on the list, it's also Prism, but this time it's the Josh Allen Silver Prism and the Parallels. What makes this card so special? So here's a little bit of Prism history for you. In 2017, every single rookie card was a Silver Prism and people were like, hey, this makes them way too common. So the next year they overcorrected and the Silvers became a case hit. Check this out in the 2021 Prism football set. Trevor Lawrence currently has 100 20 graded at PSA 10 in the silver with 1600 total while Josh Allen only has 26 PSA 10 and 134 total. The scarcity here makes this card super duper attractive. Thanks for watching this guide. I hope it helped you find an awesome Josh Allen rookie card that you're going to buy and hold for this football season. We have a lot of guides like this on our channel, including CJ Stroud, Joe Burrow, and more. So if you're interested in learning more about those guys, give those videos a watch too. See you next time.